We got our hands on the FuelTech FT600 EFI unit this week. Almost unbelievable, to be honest, just the packaging. I was instantly taken by that. I, I kind of fancy myself uh, an electronics guy. I like, I like all sorts of gadgets and gizmos. And I was blown away instantly with the packaging of this deal. When I opened the box, it, it just felt like a high-end electronic. And I think in the drag racing space, it was such a welcome experience to feel like I'm opening something of significant value and significant importance. I thought it was cool, honestly, just all the stuff, stickers and like a hotkey button sheet, just all those little details add so much to the experience. And I think a lot of times that's what we're looking for as racers, like a lot of these things are considerable investments and you're, you're spending some money and you wanna, you wanna feel good about it from the time you get the box and open it uh, until you're installing it in your race car, until you're in the winner circle uh, because of it. You don't have to get your hands on this thing for very long to immediately recognize the FT600's like significant heft. And, and heft in a good way, that's a positive term. This thing is built out of like clearly extremely high quality aluminum. And the fact that the FT600 is not only an ECU, but also a dashboard, it's, I use this word a lot, but it's it's stunning. I, I'm I'm so blown away by the fact that there's so much packed inside this sweet aluminum box. It's craziness. And beyond the fact the FT600 is able to manage sequential fuel injection and ignition on engines from one to 12 cylinders, the, the technology here is significant. But again, the features of the FT600, the ECU and dashboard in a single product for starters are impressive, no doubt but I'm still just taken by the cool factor here. I fire this thing up and it's glowing in my face. The FT600, the FuelTech logo, bright and shiny there, dead center, and instantaneously taken to the FT600's dashboard, which is infinitely programmable. It's, we would spend the rest of the week going through all the different variations that we can, we can program in here. And, oh wait, it seems only fitting that because we're gonna be running this thing inside of a race car bolted into a hot rod, I've gotta run this bad boy with some fire gloves on. Clicking around here and putting this bad boy into demo mode so I can let it show you better than I can all of its different features and functions, I'm, I'm taken again by, let me throw some other ver, uh, adjectives at you. Uh, it's stunning, breathtaking, incredible. Like the, the lights and the glitz and glamor of this thing. I feel like I'm in Las Vegas. Every time I blink, it's lighting up a different color. There's so few things in our drag racing lives that are this customizable. It's, it's very, very cool. The drag race functions, which you'll notice are innumerable. And I'm taking special effort here to go through and max each and every one of them out, especially that burnout rev limiter are really the heart and soul of this deal. I think from the driver in the water box, strapped into a race car, getting ready to make a decision on a run, and the fact that I can go through and either load up a completely different map, a completely different tune-up, or go make minute adjustments such as launch RPM, two-step, uh, burnout RPM, all these different variables, it's just that kind of ability, that kind of power at the fingertips, <laughs> the fire-proofed fingertips of a racer, again, it's really, really impressive. Probably one of my favorite things about this bad boy. As this thing cycles through its demo mode, you'll notice the features offered by the FT600 really, really range, but are especially awesome for those of us that are in the drag racing scene. Beyond the data logging capabilities, the fact that there's a bo built-in boost controller, all the aforementioned drag racing features, power management controls, closed loop O2 control, nitrous controllers for all of our pro nitrous racers, again, data logging, and the user-friendly interface, the fact that I fired this thing up and am beating around through it with no problems in the first 30 seconds of having it, really says a lot about what an advanced user could accomplish with an FT600. Holy cow, look at all these lights. This is this might be my favorite thing. I, I, I like bright, shiny objects, but when these LEDs all start firing up, there's 10 across the top, I believe I counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The four on each side, all can be uh, 
programmed in a variety of different ways as warning lights, a progressive shift uh, RPM indicator, uh, like an adjustable progressive shift light, which is really, really, really cool. Um, it's a lot of fun and it's simple and easy to understand. And I think that it completely annihilates any myth that EFI can be overwhelming. Most assuredly, advanced users are going to be able to dig in to, to make a deep dive into this thing. But you couple all this cool technology and all the fun button pushing that we just went through with the fact that new software, new drivers are available regularly and they are free. I just don't know that I've ever experienced anything that's quite this cool in this type of product category. The FT600 is FuelTech's most advanced engine control system and monitoring system. It's an ECU, it's a dashboard, data acquisition, power management, all in one box. Pretty hard to even say all those words together in a sentence, let alone actually deliver on that promise, but I believe the FT600 accomplished just that.